Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again from the Philippines. So today I'm going to share to you my top six favorites for Senorita Panama 2019. So traditionally they will be selecting top 12 finalists and then they will narrow it down to top six. And from the top six, they will be selecting their representatives to Miss Universe, Miss International, Miss Grand International, and Miss Earth. So assuming that they will all follow the same format still, so I'll, I will be sharing to you my top six. But before that, the winner will be crowned on June 20th, 2019, so it's more than a month from now, so it will still be a long way to go before we crown Senorita Panama 2019. But either way, I have spent the entire afternoon to review all of the contestants. There are 24 ladies vying for the crowns. And I have seen some amazing contenders. I have seen a lot of returnees as well. And to be honest, very, very honest opinion, I believe. And this leaderboard as well that I have are mostly dominated by the ladies or by the contestants who have competed internationally because there's really that thing about ladies who compete internationally. They are already aware on how tough the competition is. And in this competition, they certainly brought the competition into a higher level. And there's no wonder why they are actually leading my top six favorites right now. But either way, let's start. My number six is... Portobello Carmen Drayton. She's 23 years old and she stands 5'8". I am just in love with this woman. There's something about this girl that ra radiates fun vibes and I love her personality as well. Her face looks beautiful. However, she really needs to maintain consistency because there are some angles where she doesn't look good, but love the hair and her body is to die for amazing and i am expecting so so much from this girl my number five is cochle ana lucia tejera she's 23 years old and she stands 5'7 she's got one of the most beautiful face in the competition i mean that face is just so beautiful her black and white profile video i'll just call it black and white profile video because i don't know what it is her black and white profile video, which mostly is about ladies talking about themselves or something, I really do not understand any of the words because it's in Spanish. So I really rely more on their personality, their delivery, their styling, and their beauty that I've seen on the video. Well, in that video, she was also very impressive. She is just so confident. And I am excited to see more of her because based on everything that I have seen so far, she seems very, 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 very interesting. And... I'm really hoping that she's actually one of the ladies that is being considered as well as one of the front runners because I really don't know the pulse of the people of Panama on who they think are best representatives for them. But so far, I really, really love Cocle. Number four is Los Santos Betsaida Rodriguez. She's 22 years old and she stands 5'9". I also love this girl. I love her in the black and white profile video. Didn't understand any of it, but loved her personality, loved her confidence, beautiful face, and she looked simple, but still very beautiful. She's also got a great body and amazing, amazing walk during the swimsuit preliminaries because I, I'm not sure, but I think they have already finished with their preliminary competition because they have seen some clips of the preliminaries, swimsuit preliminaries, and I believe we're going to see her somewhere on top and hopefully could compete internationally. My number three is Darien Ladies Gonzalez. She's 21 years old and she stands 5'10". She already competed in Miss Supranational 2016 where she finished as one of the top 25 finalists. I loved her beauty plus she's very confident. One thing that I loved and impressed me the most about her is her swimsuit preliminaries. On that clip that I saw, she was on fire. That double side-by-side -side hair flip was just superb. And she can definitely compete with Miss Venezuela, Stephanie Gutierrez in hair flipping. I mean, they could do a showdown with hair flipping because that was amazing. If you haven't seen the clip, you have to see it. Her walk was also very strong. And you can hear that the audience is going crazy about her performance. I think she's one of the ladies that we have to watch out. My number two is Bocas del Toro, Angie Keith. She's 25 years old and she stands 5'9". She competed also in Miss Supranational 2015, so a previous year compared to Darien. 
and she was able to crack in the top 10 and got the title of Miss Supranational Americas. Her black and white profile video was also one of my favorites. I just loved how she looked in the video, loved her smile, loved her styling, and she just looked very, very beautiful. Her walk during the swimsuit preliminaries was outstanding, and there's a reason why she did well in Miss Supranational 2015. And she is really bringing the competition to a higher level. And honestly, I won't be surprised if she gets another ticket to compete again internationally. Because to be honest, she deserves to go again. And so far, my number one favorite for Senorita Panama 2019 is Panama Este Carmen Jaramillo. She's 24 years old and she stands 5'10". I know some of you think her name is very familiar because it is. I have always been a fan of Carmen Jaramillo and it's one of and she's actually one of my wish list to see in Miss Universe. And now that she's here, she is just one step away in going to Miss Universe. Hopefully she'll take it this time. She was a heavy favorite to win Miss Earth 2015, but shockingly, she did not place, which actually left many pageant fans, including myself, wondering what the hell just happened. And we actually do not know because she was so good that year, but still she was left out. Then on the same year, she competed in Reina Hispano-Americana where she competed and placed as one of the top seven finalists. So, this, so that was at least a good recovery for her before the year ended. But who cares if she didn't place in Miss Earth? Same thing happened to Curaçao's last year, Akisha Albert who competed in Miss Universe. She also competed in Miss Earth. Miss Earth said no, but she came back a few years later, coming back very strongly and well prepared. And guess what? She finished in the top 10 of the best pageant in the universe. So that's really something. And four years after her Miss Earth performance, she improved a lot. And I'm really hoping that if ever she'll win Senorita Panama 2019, she could pull the same thing and the same feat as Miss Universe Curaçao last year. Her body right now is actually one of the best in the competition. I mean, it was so, so fit, so slim. That makes me jealous. And... Her face is just so, so beautiful, as always. And compared to her previous performances where she, compared to her previous competition where she actually looked like a teenager, which she is, now she looked like a real competitor for some big pageants. And I saw also a clip of her swimsuit preliminaries and this girl is amazing. She nailed that swimsuit performance and I'm just in love. That's why I will always have my support with, I always have my support for Carmen Jaramillo ever since up to now. She deserves to go to Miss Universe and I will be rooting for her and hopefully this time she'll get the ticket to the Miss Universe because once she goes to Miss Universe, she will still be my favorite. But hoping they will work on their profile as well because I haven't read anything about the profile of the ladies especially on their Instagram account it doesn't say anything none of the 24 ladies says anything about their advocacy that they are working with because to be honest if Senorita Panama want if the Senorita Panama organization wanted to do well in Miss Universe they also need to focus on their profile and make sure that the ladies that they will that the winners that they will be selecting has a very strong profile something inspiring and good to share to the worldwide viewers because if not if they will just rely on beauty and performance alone Panama must expect nothing because they will never do well in Miss Universe again I am very very excited for Panama this year but to be honest if I have to choose, I would love to give the Miss Universe Panama title to Carmen Jaramillo. Well, again, it, I will still respect their choice and I will still support whoever wins. It's still a long way to go. But then again, good luck to Panama. Focus on the more important things because we wanted to see Panama do better this year. So that's it. Those are my favorites and that's my review for Senorita Panama 2019. What do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up as well and share the video as much as possible 
possible too if your favorites made my list. And to those ladies who I did not include in my list of favorites but you think they are deserving to be here, please comment them down below because I really didn't see much of them. I only based it on the very few that I've seen Instagram accounts, just some clips. So if you defend your favorites in the comment section, I would actually consider it on my next leaderboard. So again, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. So thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.